Hey everybody, my name is Chelsea Clark. I play Nora on Jenny and Georgia, and this is Young Entertainment Meg. Night. Hi, I'm Daniela with Young Entertainment Mag. It is so great to have you, Chelsea. We are such big fans of the show, so we're just like so stoked that you're here. Well, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, and oh my God, you're just as adorable like on your Zoom camera as you are on the show. You're so beautiful. <laughs> Um, I had like the biggest girl crushes watching like your friend group is so cute and so fun. And I'm like, I wish I had a friend group like that in high school. <laughs> oh, I know. Right. It's been so much fun being able to like play off of all of all of us. And it's just been like such a great experience. Yes. And I love how like you guys are legitimate, all drama queens, but like in all different ways, like in different yeah. expressions. <laughs> I'm like, they're just brilliant. And the truly like what you just said the way that you guys play off of each other and like the expressions are just like it's gold it's it's gold and that's probably one of the reasons why everybody is just like in love with you guys it's so fun to watch oh thank you so much i mean like not a lot of not 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 a lot of but you know you don't always get the opportunity to be able to kind of like give your characters that much personality and so the fact that we all get to do that is just like i hold on to that <laughs> yeah, it's so fun. I can only imagine. Um, what is it like being a part of the Ginny and Georgia family? I'm sure it's been like life changing. It's been so much fun. I mean, like everybody is so supportive. And I think that's something that I was just so shocked about because, you know, when you work on a project, you don't always build such strong relationships and you don't always have higher ups like Sarah and Deb, you know, like actually looking out for their actors and actually looking out for these people with so much love. And I think I was just so grateful to be a part of this family because it's like, you know, like we're all coming up in the industry at like different times and to have this job and to have like these people to kind of like ask about the industry, like, you know, or to have like these kind of conversations with, it's just been so wonderful. And everybody's just been so amazing to work with. That is so cool. Do you have a favorite behind the scenes moment of like something that happened with other cast members, like onset offset, that was just like really fun or something really funny that you'll just never forget? Um, there's a few. I mean, we're really close with our crew. So there's definitely been a few moments with like the camera crew specifically that will, uh, you know, like try and focus pull a scene. Like if we're doing like a rehearsal, like we'll get to do the focus pulling or like we'll slate sometimes. So that's always fun. And then um, <laughs> so you know how in the hallways there's always those bean bags. I like told the story like three or four times at this point, but those bean bags um during the first season we would always like take them and then like bring them into our rooms and then like into the green room and then when they're like where are our bean bags we're like we don't know we don't know what you're talking about so i guess we did that to a point that everybody was like okay no we need to hide these from the cast and so come second season we were like looking for all of these bean bags because they would just like leave them in the halls and we couldn't find a single one. And we were like, where are all like the bean bags? Like you have to have them in the shop because like you don't have them in the school. So where'd you guys put them? And everybody would always be like, oh, we don't know what you're talking about. Like, I don't know, like man. And then finally someone was like, hey, we're hiding them from you because you guys keep taking them and we need them. So stop taking them. And we're like, yeah, of course. And then we were like, but you're hiding them. So that means that they're here somewhere. <laughs> So we found the room that they were stashing all of them in and we like took a bunch and brought them back into the green room, closed all the doors so that they couldn't see that we had them. And then obviously we got in trouble for taking them, but it was so funny because that day somebody had actually stolen a bean bag. Oh, cool. Yeah. Right. So we were like, <laughs> what? Um, anyways, it wasn't any of us, but they all asked us cause they were like, well, where did they go? And we were like, we fair questions, yeah. fair question, but we, we didn't steal a big bean bag and try to like bring it back to our like, like trailer and then try to like bring it into a car. That was not us. How so. would you even do that? I feel like that would be impossible. <laughs> oh, they were like massive. It was hilarious. So if anybody actually got away with like taking one, 
I feel like kudos to you, like to get, like to hide that is just impressive at this point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> who is that? Hopefully they see this clip on TikTok and they're like, okay, time to come clean. Yeah, right. They're like sitting in it while they're watching it and they're like, oh no, I'm caught. Meanwhile, they didn't think anybody noticed and I'm just here like telling the entire world. <laughs> like ratting it out. I know. That's so fun. So, okay. Ginny and Georgia is still number one on Netflix, which is so crazy and so incredible. What has the response been like for you on season two? It's been so overwhelming, but in like the best possible way. I mean, the amount of support that the show has, I think is just absolutely wonderful. And I think the thing that I love the most is that there's such a large young like women's audience for this show. And I think that really goes to show that like, if you make content that people want to watch, people are going to watch that content because not every show needs to like circle around, you know, whatever top 10 things that like people think everybody wants to watch. I don't know. I just think there's not enough like women content for women. And so I think it's really wonderful to see that and to also just chat with other like people and hear their responses. Like I went out for coffee with a friend today and she was telling me, she's like, it's so wonderful to see like you guys playing teenage girls being weird and like being silly and not performing for like the male gaze. She was like, I love, we were talking about the scene um, near the end of the season where the four of us are in Abby's room and then they all start copying me. <laughs> that was so funny. So that scene was just so fun because we kept getting notes of being like, yeah, like be weirder, be weirder. Like don't be cute. Just be weird. Pretend like none of us are here and pretend like you're in high school and just do <laughs> what you would do with your girlfriends. Yes. And I think that was just such a liberating moment because, you know, as a performer, you're so used to performing. And when like society is performing for the wrong ways, you're kind of like, you know, you kind of subconsciously do certain things. Yeah, and I think yeah. it's just been so nice to, you know, just be with friends and to just show what that actually looks like. And like you said, the like emotions, the like eye rolls, all of that. And it's all for us. And I think that's yes. what I love about the show. So good. That scene specifically that you're talking about when everybody was copying you, I was like dying because I'm like, <laughs> This is so relatable. Like, it's not not even in the sense of like, oh, I remember doing that in high school. It, it was so relatable in the sense of like, nothing replaces that feeling when you are with your girlfriends and you can literally be whoever you want to be. And it's almost one of like the best relationships you have in this life. And yeah. so when I saw that, I felt so seen and I'm 30 and I'm like, I haven't been in high school for so long, but like, I just felt so seen in that moment. And so- uh that's such a good scene. I love it so much. Um, oh, was there supposed to be a choking scene with the ring and the milkshake? No, I feel like that was kind of set up for that, but then it didn't happen. I know. I also thought it was going to happen and then it didn't because I think this is why, uh, because se is it seven and eight or eight and nine? that are uh, the same episode, but from the different perspectives. Yes. So I think the whole idea is that like, you know, it's kind of not the focus of the episode. So yeah. it just, and no one's there when it happens, like neither Marcus nor Jenny yeah. are there when it happens. So I guess it wouldn't really make sense to kind of have yeah. put that in as like a focal point. But yeah. I agree. I honestly think it's kind of funnier that it's not there because everybody's like, what? Just like, <laughs> what is going on? And like, Nora's already upset with Jordan. And yeah. why is this making this so much worse? Like what something that happened that no one knows what happened, happened because things are not well. <laughs> That's so funny. And I wonder, okay, like speaking of it being like the same episode, but from two different angles, I wonder, so when I started watching the second one, I like was tripping out. I was like going through the episodes. I was like, wait, I already saw this. Like, is my, did I screw up my Netflix? Is someone else logged into my account? And I'm like, I bet you so many people did that. Like it couldn't have just been me. It's so funny. Oh, especially if you were like binging it. Cause I also yes. fully forgot that that was happening. So when I was on like hour five, I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's happening? Okay. Speaking of binging it. Um, did you binge it with anybody from the cast or did you binge it just like by yourself or how did you personally binge the show? 
how did I binge the show? Okay, I had to binge it in sections because I can't watch 10 hours of TV straight. I just, my mind will turn to mush. And so I think I watched the first three episodes with, I think I saw it with like Colton or something. Like we had watched like an episode together, but I had watched the first five in like its entirety with my parents. And then I had to take a break because I was like, oh my God, this is so much content. (laughs) And then I binged the second half uh, we got screeners before, so I got to see Ooh. it before it came out. But then I was like, ah, I don't want to have all of this information before everybody sees it because I'm definitely going to, like, spoil something. So yeah. I waited until it dropped, and then I binged the uh, the second half. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That is so fun. Is it, like, how is it different? Like, obviously, you're there. You're creating it. You're in the moment. How is it different, like, your experience from, like, watching it and also, like, being in it? What is that like? it's some scenes you're like oh yeah this feels the exact same and then other scenes you're like i have no idea i have like no recollection of filming this and also like this looks so different than what we actually did so like shout out to the editors um i think it depends really i mean when you're there it's so wonderful because you can kind of feel the scene and so for like those big scenes like the improv scene or things like that you can feel the energy there and I think that resonated really well on screen but then there's also some scenes where you know it's like the middle of the day or like because we were filming during COVID uh we couldn't uh we couldn't be in the green room at certain times during our filming together so they would kind of separate us and then we would all just meet on set and then we would have to like go back to like our own rooms kind of thing yeah so for those scenes I feel like I was a little like not disconnected from watching it but I was just more uh like surprised because the filming process was so different because we had to deal with all of like COVID restrictions wow yeah so much goes into it um did you and the cast actually eat at the Blue Farm Cafe or was that like a set or was that like a real restaurant? It's a set. It's okay. a set. Yeah. Uh, did you actually like eat the food there? Yeah. I mean, the food's edible. Yeah. Uh, just by like take 10 unless they've given you like, so they usually have like three or four plates oh. and then they'll like re- reset it depending on how much you eat. Yeah. Um, so when it's like top of the day, that food's like hot and nice. And then when you get to like end of the day, sometimes it's not so hot, not so nice. But it is real food. Like the latkes were real. Oh. Um, all the stuff at Blue Farm is real. The milkshake was real. That was great. Really that was great. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. How much of Chelsea is in Nora? I feel like there's a decent amount. I wouldn't yeah. say Chelsea is a hundred percent Nora, but I definitely try I think this not this the struggle with playing a character who is like super nice is to give her depth that isn't just like smiley and like like you know lovey-dovey like care bear kind of personality right because yeah I feel like I'm a fairly nice person but I also know that you know I have like an edgier side and I have like a backbone and all of these things so I really tried uh throughout the season to kind of pepper in some more like Chelsea isms yeah. with like the looks or like the tone just because I feel like you know you can really make or break a character depending on you know how you play it so yeah. I would say like like 60 like 40 60 like 40 Chelsea yeah. 60 Nora totally and I can feel that like talking to you now because sometimes you talk to the actor and they're so different from their character and it's For like sure. I just feel like yeah like I'm just you know chilling with half Chelsea half Nora it's so fun <laughs> <laughs> wonderful great I love it um do you have a favorite scene from the series that you were in oh not that I'm in I mean I do obviously okay. but like I thought you were just gonna ask me what my favorite scene was and I was so ready okay uh, so the share favorite... both I want to okay, know both. The, the favorite scene that I'm in is the improv scene because I think that that's just Oh, and also the other favorite scene I have is when we're around the table at Max's for latka dinner or whatever, because a few, a few fans on TikTok picked up on this, but there we're like sitting beside each other and it's when we're like apologizing to Georgia and I'm like playing with a dreidel and then the dreidel falls off the table and I'm like 
oh, that was fully me just like dropping a dreidel. Like that was not part of the scene. And so I laughed so hard when I realized that they actually kept it. Oh gosh. Yeah. So I think that's really funny. And then my favorite scene in the show is uh, the scene where Ray is dancing at Blue Farm by himself. And then so walks in on him. And I just think it's genius. <laughs> It's so funny. He's like such a lovable character. It's insane. Oh, and he's such a lovable person in real life Aww. too. So it just, yeah, I love it. Oh my gosh. That is so fun. So what was the most challenging part of this project of being in Ginny and Georgia and how did you overcome it? If there was any challenges? Yeah. I mean, I think in terms of like character and like group work, it's really wonderful to work with people that we're so close with. So there really yeah. were no like issues there. I would honestly say the biggest uh, like struggle to overcome was filming during COVID because yeah. it was just such an added layer of, you know, stress. And also this was before we really had like set regulations. So it was kind of like, we had a few and then it was every production kind of changed to how they saw fit. And I think that just really was something that we all had to kind of pull together and really yeah. keep the keep the energy up because it just like at any point in time, things were just crazy. And like during the like holiday, we had to like postpone because there was like uh, outbreaks and things were shutting down again. So it was just a lot of uh start and stops which i think you know we were all really excited to just come back and like be together for like the six months and we really had to just like be grateful for the time that we actually got to be together totally it probably just threw such a big wrench in so many different aspects like of production and um i know it affected all of us like in such a crazy way so i can only imagine too it's like fingers crossed not only do i not want to get sick because i don't want to be sick but then also like there's so much riding on it, you know, yes. if you get sick. So I'm, I'm sure that was super stressful. Um, what's one part of Nora's storyline that you would love to be like explored more or showed more, portrayed more if there is a season three? I would love to see Nora's relationship with her mom a little bit more. Yeah. Cause I think there's like, you know, little hints of it in like season one and season two. And I think they definitely have like a strong relationship, but I also, you know, I want to see kind of the more like catty Nora talking about Bev. Like I really, I really want to see her be a teenager about her mom. Cause she's like yeah. so obsessed with Georgia. So I just want like the opposite. Yeah. Um, and I also think it would just be so nice to see a little bit more of Jordan and Nora and like, yeah. you know, kind of their relationship. What do they talk about if they talk yeah. about things? Because little Jordan is just the best little golden retriever ever. And, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so oh, I think those would be really fun. Yeah. Like to see the depth of both of those relationships would be like yeah. so cool to see. Um, For sure. What is one thing that stands out to you that you learned from a fellow cast mother, cast member, not cast, cast mother, mother. <laughs> or cast mother? Because, you know, Georgia was probably definitely a cast mother. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the thing that I learned most from another cast member, uh, I would say that I learned a lot from umberly and also from katie two very different like people but umberly always showed up on set like very very excited very happy very engaging and very warm and so i think it was just you know like when you're working long days you are working long days and so i think it was also just such a nice reset every time she was there to kind of be like yeah you know what like let's just be let's just be chill and like hang out and like the world isn't like this isn't we're not curing cancer here like let's just have a good time and then katie who is all of those things in her own way i also just learned from her you know to take your own time when you want to take your own time you know like when you're with like your coworkers, you want to kind of like be with them all the time and it's super draining yeah. uh and i just realized that you know like you can take like 20 minutes to yourself and not feel bad about it you don't owe anybody anything and you know you're all here for a job at the end of the day so you want to make sure you're kind of like prioritizing you and so i think yeah. those are big things that i learned this season 
Yeah, that's so great. I feel like everybody can relate to that because no matter like what you're doing, it's so easy to like get so focused on what you're doing or caught up in your head or get inside your head and to know like, okay, cool. I can take a few minutes. I can take a beat. Like this should be fun. Like what yeah. we're doing is fun. that's so important. I totally get it. So, okay. I know we touched on it a little bit earlier, but you guys really having that like tangible camaraderie that you can just feel on the screen of bouncing off of each other. I feel like that really, it happened in the hallway a lot, but I feel like it also happened in the basement scenes. And for whatever reason, it felt like it was like longer moments that that happened in the basement scene. So what was that like? Cause it felt like, I don't know if that was improv. I'm not sure. Like how did those kind of longer basement scenes where it was so much like one person has a line, then another person has a line, then another person has a line. And it's, does that kind of make sense? Like how did, how did that how did that feel? What was that like filming moments like that? Cause that was pretty rare in the show. For sure. I mean, the nice thing about the basement scenes and I think the moments that you're talking about is that pretty much all of them are kind of improv. Yeah. And wow. so we obviously have the scene and like the lines of the scene, but there's like little things here and there that were just us like chatting and also like, there's moments where I'm like pouring beer into like, you know, Brody's mouth. Like that was like us being like, hey, let's do something. What do you want to do? I'm going to pour beer into your mouth, you know? So, and, and it was really great because we got that opportunity to kind of, you know, try those things out. And then because there's so many people to cover, if it was like good, they'd be like, okay, yeah, you can keep that, keep doing things like that. Or if it wasn't like, if they couldn't use it, they're like, okay, cool. That's not going to fit in the scene, but like you can do something else. So it was a lot of, you know, like group work and everybody just kind of like, you know, playing off of each other. Like I said before. That's so amazing. That's so fun. That's like what I kind of pictured, but I didn't know if that was, you know, really what happened. So Amazing. Okay. So we have a few questions from our Twitter fans who are just absolutely in love with you guys. So uh, one, one of our Twitter friends wants to know, was Nora the character that you originally auditioned for? Yes, Nora was. Yeah. Yeah. What was the audition process like for that? Um, so the audition scene was, uh, I keep mixing it up. So I keep saying, hate you, mean it, love you, kidding. But it's <laughs> hate you, kidding, love you, mean it. <laughs> so it's really awkward when I say that to people. Um, so that was my audition scene where we're inviting Ginny to go uh, grocery shop or not grocery shopping. Oh, my God. Going shopping. Uh, so I did that scene and I had no idea. Like, you know, the audition process can be so long. So it was my first my first round and yeah. I kind of just did the scene and I was like, OK, this feels like what would happen. I don't really know. Um, and so I did it and then I got a call back for the chemistry read, like pretty much right away. And I was like, oh, that's crazy. That literally never happens. And so the three of us, Sarah, Katie, and I, we met up right before, uh, our scene and we were like, Hey, we should probably like chat. Cause we're supposed to be like the best of friends. Let's like chat. And Sarah and I had already known each other, obviously. So we were like, oh my God, this is going to be so much easier because we already know each other. And then we met Katie and we were like, oh, we're fine. (laughs) We're like, great. And so then we went into the audition and we were like chatting in the weight room and we were just like having a good time. And then we went in to do the audition. And um, it was just so funny because later on, Sarah Lampert, the creator, told me that like she pretty much in her head had like chosen the three of us to play Mm -hmm. these roles but you know you have to go through the motions and you also have to just like double check because sometimes it doesn't turn out um meanwhile so she was like at the other side of the table being like yeah perfect this all works meanwhile all three of us are truly freaking out because we're like okay nobody else is here it's just the three of us like is like, did they already do the other session with the other three that they're thinking about doing? Is there another three? Is there other people that they're going to pull in? Are we going to be like mixing and matching? Like, what is this going to be like? And then we went in, did the audition and then they're like, okay, cool. Thank you. Bye. And we were like, okay, cool. Thank, thank you. Bye. And then, you know, you don't hear for a few weeks cause they have to go through everybody else and they have to yeah. like, you know, approve everything. And I just remember the time that I didn't know I, grew to love the show so much that I was like, I, this is going to hurt so bad if 
I don't get this because I didn't realize how much I loved what we were doing. Oh. And so when I got the call, I was so ecstatic oh. and I just was oh. so happy. That's so amazing. I'm I'm like so excited and happy for you because this show like blew up and it's it's just it's insane to just watch like the incredible following that's created. And like you said earlier, it's such like a a female like based show and it really speaks to I feel like I'm, you know, a little bit older. And then my mom likes the show too. And then I'm sure high schooler high schoolers love the show. And for it to be a show that such a wide range of like women love is so special. And so, yeah, I'm like, I'm so excited. This is and fingers crossed for season three, such an incredible show. You did such an incredible um, portrayal um, of your role. Um, if you could please share your just hands down favorite Ginny and Georgia moment, whether that was like a personal Chelsea moment when you were like watching it back or whether it was a Nora moment on set, hands down, favorite memory from being a part of Ginny and Georgia, what would that be? I think my favorite moment from being on Ginny and Georgia would be just being at that school with everybody. I think it's so nice to, you know, work with people that you have like a real connection with and work with, you know, friends that you actually trust. And, you know, we would eat lunch together or we would like sit outside together. And so I think there's a lot of really nice moments of just us like being people like doing a job that we love. And I think that's definitely has to like that holds a very special place in my heart. Yeah, that's so cool. That's like once in a lifetime stuff right there. It's super. Special. Yeah, so that's amazing. It was so great talking to you. Thank you. It was for, so like, nice talking to you too. Yeah. Thanks for like the best in interview ever. We'll tag you in everything, like I said, and thanks again. And we're just so excited to keep watching you and all the amazing things that you're going to do. Thank you. Thank you. Have the all best right. day. You too. You later, right. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe to Young Entertainment Meg.